hey, if, as long as this continues to go on, we here. We here with it. And me and bro were just talking about it. It's consuming our lives. I do. Yeah. I do want to. I do want a moment. You know, a moment, a few days of peace for a minute. Yeah. You know what I'm saying? But we, we asked for this. We asked for this as fans. We did ask for this. We asked fans. for this. I, I am just tired of, like you say, I'm tired of arguing with people, trying to make make your claim. Yeah. Knowing Whichever, your opinion probably yeah. isn't going to change you no know matter what, what happens. It just, it's it's now, it's debates. And these yeah. things, these debates are going to go on for the longest time. But that's but that's a good battle. And that's healthy, too. That's a, healthy. But that's how you know it's a good battle when you yeah. can legit debate. Yeah. I compare this to, like, Nas and Jay. There are people who think Jay won. There are people who think Nas won. Yeah. This is not mm-hmm. like... This is not like with, with T.I. and Luda. Like, T.I. put his verse out, and then Luda smacked him upside the head. And everybody was like, oh, yeah, he got washed. This is, mm-hmm. this is not that. This is not a wash. This yeah. is one of those. You're this going to debate those. about it for years. You're going yeah. to debate about it. And This is going to be the guys, barbershop talk, bro. Both guys brought their swords. Five records apiece so mm-hmm. far. Five frankly. records apiece. They both bought their best swords. However you are judging the battle. Is anyone's judging it differently? However you judging it? Hey, both guys brought their swords and they went to war, man. They competing, bro. They competing. They competing. And 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 look here. Drake just dropped. All right, the heart, the heart part six. He should have did this earlier. But I think it's perfect timing, bro. This was perfect timing. And based off of, I'm not gonna lie, I off of momentum. I had Kendrick up because off of momentum. It's in this, and, and I, I'll be a hypocrite if I didn't say this. In this battle, we want something that's consistent. We're going to keep going and going and going. When yeah. you take breaks off, you give the other yeah. opponent time Kendrick to had five, counter. He had four, so he needed to swing back. He swung it back. In yeah, the yeah. So it's like, all right, he dropped uh, Meet the Grammys, uh, Meet the Grams, and then he, and then he not dropped like Not that. Like Us, which is a West Coast banger, and that's a, that's a hit. That's kind of, it could be a hit song. Then we, need, we needed this. To set the record straight, I think Drake is in the lead right now based off of this song, based on the information, um, based on the fake mode. I called this last part, bro, about this is going to be brought up. True, but yeah, I'm saying it's going to be brought up. And when and when you even look at the T-shirt, bro, when you look at all the artifacts in, in it, the, the, the shirt says short T collection. Like it looked like it was like a troll to begin with, with, with that. My oh, problem, with, my issue with believing that is it started off as a Twitter theory first. We yeah, started off on Twitter theory first, and then Drake liked it, and then too much. If, if you really set that up, too much. You let too much time pass because you, if you really line him up like that, you don't let him get that second record off. But fam- you dropped that the very next. But guess what? Family matters in the third verse said that though. The family, ver- the family uh, matters. That's why it's. I feel like it's the toughest song in the in the disc. Well, but he said whoever's the, giving you, if they, they and, clowns. In the vi- yes, well, and if also, but up, if you look but at if the, you set it up, the visuals, but I'm saying to you, you before that even came out, the visuals he was showing the mold. He was showing the uh, 11 year old daughter in the background that they. He it was like he already put he put but fake that came on Twitter too. He, like, Kendrick, but he put Kendrick, fake Kendrick information never there said to that That's the daughter. Somebody on. Somebody online was like, "That's the daughter," and then they did the. That's why I'm. That's what I'm saying. Still, and but he was he was alluding to his 11 year old daughter, right? Yeah. But, and you can't you can't say that, and then it just be no truth behind it, bro. That's sure what we. Can. Everything that we've been saying though, whoever's going to win this is based off of truth. Yeah. One, and, and the thing that's been bothering me is that you have more you have more you have more Kendrick uh, Kendrick fans and Drake haters in this. Yeah. And, I will say this: there are more there are more people. Because neither, neither, neither guy has proof of anything. But there's more guys that are willing to believe Kendrick, Kendrick who has over, more proof over versus Drake. And, but they're not willing to believe Drake who also has no has no proof. But it's like but it's like how you can how can you believe this guy with no proof even though this guy doesn't have proof? It doesn't make sense. If you if neither guy has proof, you can't believe either of them. You but can't, Drake, you can't, and, you can't and, and that's what that's what a comment but that's where I Drake. think that's why I think the hard part six, it got crazy. That's why I'm saying Drake is in the lead because this is the second time he doubled down on it. Why isn't uh, Kendrick uh, answering the allegations about Whitney at all? Any of these claims? He just put Dave Free on the daggone caption. I think that's... I, you can say it's not truth. And you can say it's alleged. But I think that's odd. If I'm sitting here talking about this dude who's on... You know, who's technically your the, the, the father of the other child. I keep talking about this dude and bringing him up. You're not going to bring up the allegations? That's what bothers me in this, too, is because when they said, oh, yeah, Drake, uh, he he said everything, but he didn't address the the, 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 the pedal lines, like the pedophile lines, uh, and allegations, and then the next song he does that, and now y'all complaining. Yeah, Come I, on, man. I, I, y'all I cannot like move the goalposts. I will say this. Um, I he had, addressing I had, what's, not, what's, what's I think not true. I had 
Drake winning. I don't have him as my winner. Does that make sense? Yeah, yeah, I agree. I'm, I'm with you um, right now too. Like for the um, yeah, I had Drake winning. I don't have him as my overall winner, but I think the hard part six is better than not like us. I think um, yeah, because I wanted him to do that. Man, you, you, um, you saw me. I didn't have any bias last. Like when he did that, you saw me. I was hyped. I was like, because I wanted to hear that Drake from the beginning. Because he's rapping, rapping. Yeah, because he's but he but he yeah. With a guy like this, I'm like, you gotta go. You gotta do that, man. Um, for me, again, for me, it's about bars because no one's proven any info. So for me, it was about bars. So keeping it with that, I still, I still got Kendrick. Um, not by a lot, but yo, man, that was that was insane. Definitely, um, Drake. I think I th- I think Drake responded perfectly. I don't know why people on the internet feel like he didn't or feel like um, he's copping out. I can see why they would think that, but I don't think that's this. Mm-hmm. I don't think this is. I don't think he's copping out. I, um, I, I do think he is using this moment to swing it in his favor by saying, "You, yeah, I got sure. facts, you don't," for which sure. is brilliant on his part. Like, yeah, it is. Doing the same, and thing. then also but you a, got yeah like another truth, down another truth as well in which he spoke. He talked about the Spotify thing with R. Kelly, which was documented. Yeah. That's something that is also a truth there yeah. as well. So it looks, and then when, when he's addressing that, he's looking at it as if you're a hypocrite if you're yeah. sitting there saying this about me, but you support now, this. If, if I am to shoot Kendrick some bail for that, this was around 2015. And I remember when he put that album out, one of my favorite songs was Mortal Man. His whole thing was, and when stuff hits the fan, are you still a fan? Like, are you only a fan of me when I'm perfect, or are you a fan of me even when I'm wrong? And I, he wasn't a father then. I think becoming but a guess father what? four years guess later. What? We're he here, we're here now. Sense. I'm not shooting him no bad. We're here now, bro. We're here now. If you're making this allegations against him and he bring that up, Oh, that's, that's a, oh yeah, that's that's incredible. That's a good counterpunch. That's a good counterpunch, a good a good counterpunch, counterpunch. bro. It's a great counterpunch. And at what point? And and honestly, at what point? Does Kendrick talk about the allegations out there? I don't think he needs to. Because Whitney's brother oh, no, is online mm-hmm. openly mm-hmm. supporting him. Mm-hmm. Do you think her mm-hmm. brother supports him mm-hmm. if he's being his sister up? Mm-hmm. Just answer that. Uh uh-uh. uh. Uh uh. It's also multiple allegations, Hugh. It's about the day free thing, too. Well, there's no. It's, you, it's, Drake, you can't ask for paperwork and then have no DNA test paperwork saying that's his kid. You can't. But you have to address it. Guess what? If you don't address it in the rebuttal, then those allegations to the public eye become truths. All right, I, let's, like, let's just let's say this. I don't, and I don't think Drake is a pedophile, nor do I think um, Kendrick is a woman beater. Let's say this. All right, so right now, there's no, like, physical evidence of Kendrick beating his wife, right? There is a video of Drake kissing a 17-year-old girl. And keep, and people so I can see why you would need to step out there and address that. Because there's this wild video Correct. of you and he addressed years it. ago. And hold up. And then also he addressed it. But also with, with Drake doubling down on what he's saying, Ken, Kendrick hasn't addressed any of the things that yeah, he was saying. That, but it makes it swing. That's why I say it swings it in his moment. And I'm not, and I'm not look here. I'm not refuting everything that you just said uh, in regards to Drake. But also, it's truths. It also is truths on both sides in a way. I'm talking about as far as like, you know, him. And they they call it they call him uh Drake names they call him the white boy and all this other stuff and also you know the BBL Drizzy the the the, the, uh, the, the Metro thing uh, it's hilarious and things of that nature but like we said the the person that get the most dirt on on the other bro is well, going to win this I, didn't I think that bro and I think if you not if you're not answering to the allegations or answering to the other this song then it's gonna make it look weird. So if Kendrick does respond to it, does that change your opinion? Yeah, it does. Because because we and we get an answer, and also if he has a good diss track, I'm going to say it's a good diss track. I told you, Euphoria is a great diss track. Yeah, I think Euphoria is the that's best that's track. my favorite Kendrick track. I argue like if he my favorite Drake track is Family Matters. If he addresses it, great. But like I said, when I came up the steps, I kind of want this just to be over. We have five we have five records apiece. I need, yeah. to, I need to move on with my life. I need to move on with my life. Drake, go on vacation, please. Nah, because like soon as, as soon as I walked in the door, my students ready to argue with me, bro. Ready to argue with me. Whether, Your students don't know anything about hip hop. Whether, whether, and I had to, and it's funny because I had to sit them down and tell them like, y'all don't understand the details in which is going on, and that and that shows me everything because you're going based off of the uh, what social media is saying. So yeah. you go from you go from this person to saying it, this person to saying it. You haven't even viewed it yet, but you like. I do, yeah, whatever. I do think it's telling that Ax said um, Kendrick's winning. I didn't watch the whole thing. I thought that was telling. Cause I'm like, Ax is like I mean, but also, Drake. I was like, I didn't for him. It's, I was like, hold on, that's shocking. I didn't expect honestly, him to say it's that not. It's not because if you really, if you really tune into uh, tune into Ax, he's objective uh, when it comes to Drake too. 
People people only see the subjective side, but he is objective when it comes yeah, to because he, he be letting he be letting it fly for Drake. And I'm not and I'm not mad for I'm not mad for anybody who thinks that Kendrick is winning either. Yeah, for sure. Like, I just don't like the biases yeah. on one side. So say for instance, if Drake said said it, it's lying. If Kendrick said, yeah, Kendrick it, it's said truth, it's truth, that's we not you, you can't, can't do, do that. that. You can't do you that. can't do that. Let's call a spade a spade. If that and if that if person you, is going and, crazy, and if you do if you are viewing either guy. In this, you know, at holding up in this idol regard, then you, especially Kendrick fans, you weren't listening to his last album because Kendrick's whole thing was "I'm not your savior." Mm-hmm. His whole thing was "Celebrities are not your saviors." Mm-hmm. Like that's what that's, that's what's still in the back of my shirt from the tour that I had on the last part. That's the last, the final. That's my favorite song on the album. It's the final mm-hmm. song he ends with at the show. He don't even end with the big one. He ends with that one. That's his whole thing. It's like, listen, Cole made you feel empowered. He's not your savior. And that's first, the cast out your back. I am not your savior. Two parts dick, I think for yourself. So it's like if that's if you're viewing them like that, then you're missing you're missing the whole thing that what he's trying to say. Like, listen, man, like, not your savior. And the other thing in the heart part six that that I feel like is a reach as far as fans and what they're talking about, he's responding and he gave a he gave a bar that was in the mother eye, which was the uh, Mr. Mariah and the Big Steppers. He's rebuttaling. He's using play on words. Y'all making it deeper than what it is. Yeah, because they they were like, you know cause he didn't, like, that's not what happened. Come on in the now. Song. It's like, listen, he don't have to care what happened. In the it's song. not about it's that. A, he's a he's, ra- he's using no, it as a reference funniest, point. No, that's not even the funniest argument. The funniest, the funniest nitpick was them saying B sharp is not a is not a note, which is is it? But I don't care about that. It was clever. Right, bro. It was clever. No, no. But I know you see that on Twitter. Oh they was. God. I know y'all see that. He's talking about some B sharp. That's not even a real no. I'm like, okay, that could be true, but, but that's it, not the point. That's what I'm saying. That's it's not like the point. It, it makes it, but also you, it makes it not fun anymore. Yeah, like, like when we're, when we're, I like that bar. When somebody is completely, completely biased, and people think yeah. I have a, a bias with Drake, I am more of a Drake fan than Kendrick. And I'm more I of a not, fan than Drake. But I have not been biased. That's but, the but thing. I, but I love, but I love Drake. Like anyone knows me, so, I love. I was born, born, probably one of the first people to listen to Drake because I first heard Drake when he did. A freestyle to kick push, um, Lupe. So I was like, "Who the heck is this?" It was like oh six, and then like the next year, comeback season dropped. I was like, "Hold on, it's that same dude that was like." So I, I'm a it's just good, bro. It's just good to enjoy the music too. Yeah, like it's at good the to end of the day, the I'm music and the debate. enjoying the music. The debate is going to be the debate forever. Like just off of this conversation, starting about Drake versus Kendrick. You're going to have an audience who's going to be with Drake, an audience that's going to be with Kendrick. It's never going to be in the middle, for real, yeah. for real. You have people that have music fans that be like, all right, it was good. But to them, to either fans, you're not going to sway too much of an opinion. The thing, the last thing I'll say before we move on to a different topic, um, it was surprising to see Kendrick win the numbers game in this and the internet. Because that's like, Drake dominates those spaces. Drake dominates the mm-hmm. numbers, the charts, and the internet. So to see, to see Kendrick winning that, man, I was like... This is, well, I, I like, think, and I think that's more to you. I think that's more to people that hate. Yeah, Drake. but I, that's not that's not how I view the battle. I'm just saying, yeah, I yeah, that yeah. Was strange but I'm, to it's see not. That. But I don't think it's strange because I that to what I'm saying. I feel like that's valid, a valid, a valid as regards to Drake having more haters and more people want to see him fall, and then it's Kendrick fans as well too. Man. So it's more people that want to want to see Drake. They want to see him fail. lose. You know what I'm saying? They want to, they want to see him lose in this battle. All I'm gonna say, man, those dudes, these dudes, man, like when y'all was talking all that noise about taking call the big three. There's no other big three, man. No other, no other, no other three rappers in the last ten to twelve years move the needle like those guys. Mm-hmm. When Drake is the only, Drake is the guy who could drop three records and hold all three spots on the top three. Mm-hmm. Cole puts out a surprise mixtape, does almost 200k. Polly's about to go number one if he doesn't apologize mm-hmm. on a surprise take. And Kendrick can drop one verse and flip everything upside down. More like, no other three rappers move the needle like these guys yeah. over the last 10, 12 years. I don't, right. care, no, I don't care what none of y'all say. That's the big three. Mm-hmm. Like, there are no other three guys the last 10, 12 years that move the needle like those guys do. Like, they are, they are, they are the ghosts of this generation. I don't think you're going to see another... Um, we how talked does, about that, too. I don't think you're going to see another... How does this like end? That. How does this end? Like... Well, what's what's gonna be the result? Cause I told you last part, it's gonna be two more songs. Yeah. How does this end? If, it, I if, don't, if Kendrick never responds, it ends with the, at the two five records. If he does respond, I think it ends there. Cause Drake has said that he's not rapping again. So I think either I, way, I, 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 if if Kendrick drop again, I don't. Drake is dropping again, bro. He, he definitely gonna respond. 
I don't. It's really gonna be like you said, based yeah. off the last song. There's but the first out there that do think Kendrick's about to. If Kendrick, but to if situation. Kendrick does not drop a song, and let's say we end it here, I don't, I don't think he won. If if it ends right here, and I'm not, I'm not just off of just what's the most recent song, but the hard part six had a lot of layers you, into you, it. You feel like you have your, Drake has better disses out of the five. That's why you think. Not necessarily. I yeah. That's I, why I think. I think. I think. I think. So, I think I think the hard part six kind of separates it now. Like for me, now I feel like it created a little space between okay. Family Matters, the third verse, and this. It's like I'm doubling down on something. You not you not addressing it. I'm 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 witty bars. I'm at you. I'm actually dissing you in regards to what I'm talking about. But I'm doubling down on something that you're not responding to. So if you're not responding to it, it's ha it's some truth to it. You feel me? Like, and it's like, it's like kind of like you don't want a chink in your armor because we don't really know much about Kendrick cool. personally. So I, I feel like if it end right here, I, I feel like it's tough. I feel like it's tough, but I'm not mad at people that who yeah. think that Kendrick won. I'm not mad at that. I'm not mad at that at all. I'm not mad at that. It'd be one, it'd be different if it was completely one-sided and people were still being like, whatever, whatever, but. Yeah, this was this was this was dope. This was a moment in time. Yeah, this is a moment. This bro. is a moment in time to remember for the next, especially because last year rap was so horrible. So this year, like rap, this year rap is in yeah. a great space. Right. I don't know what happens from here, but whoever whoever supposed to drop, don't ruin this momentum. I know Cole is coming. I know um, Rap City is coming next. Um, the next two weeks, Conway and Gunna drop next, this Friday. Actually. Mm -hmm. Oh yeah, Gunna about to, um, Oh yeah, yeah, yeah. We freaking. We need, um, we need to talk about that. ASAP Rocky is coming. Don't I hope Rocky doesn't address Drake. Not because I don't think he can rap, but I don't think he He's needs to. He's definitely addressing. I don't Drake. think he needs to. He's like Drake is pissed at your date that you're sleeping with Rihanna. <laughs> just just have another kid. He'll be mad. I think they should do that. Yeah, yeah honestly. Yeah. I think that's what makes him upset. And you just, if you keep being with Bro, your girl, that'll make I'm not mad. anticipating no music other than Gunner right now. This Gunner this weekend, we need, we need something to balance out everything yeah. that's going on. Yeah. You know what I'm saying? His, and I'm only saying that because his type of music sets yeah. a certain mood. And we need guys to get out, we need them to get out the way so other guys can feel like they can drop. Yeah, Because yeah. no one's going to feel like dropping while these yeah, two no, are no, throwing no, bombs no, at no, each no. other. Absolutely not. Yeah, they're All right. Gonna the second out. round is officially started. Thank God they wrapped up that stupid, that horrible series yesterday. Okay, cool. So game two, Timberwolves, Dun Nuggets time. What do you think? I think I think Nuggets evened it up. Bro, the Timberwolves about to go two zero. It's Matt Edwards, bro. I've been telling you, bro. He's the face of the NBA now. So I'm telling you, and, and, I'm and telling you, bro. Hooping. This man is really like that. And is hooping. Really like that. And then what's special about him? He plays both sides. Yep. Of the plays court. both sides of the ball. Like you know what I'm saying. Come on I now, think, I think, elite I think level the nuggets, uh, defender and player. The Nuggets understand um, how important it is for them for the home team to win. I think they come out swinging. Jamal Murray is not gonna let them lock him up the first half this time. Uh, I think this series goes seven. They, I, I, I think it goes six, bro. I think they match. They just match up well with Denver, bro. Mm -hmm. They match up well with Denver. I wasn't a believer until the first game, yeah, because that sets the series. And they're the only team that has, they've if, beaten them three times this year. And they're the only team that's if held the home team points. if the home team loses a first round, this pressure, this second game is all pressure on you. Yeah. And I feel like with that pressure being on Denver, the Timberwolves can really relax, play their game, and. See and see where it goes from there, bro. What championship? championship yeah, 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 for sure, for sure. Yeah, you can't discredit. But discredit, look, count if that you out. if you if you allow uh, Murray to score zero points um, in the first half, if you allow Joker not to get on a streak and not to be the assistant facilitator, get the ball out of his hand because he's more dangerous as a passer than he is to score. He was he was, he was looking to pass too much. He should have been looking to score. Rudy Gobert can't guard him. And he, he knows good, that. He did a good job, though. He did a good job. We, we, <laughs> he did a good he, job. He knows Rudy Gobert can guard him. That's what's pissing me off. I was like, bro, like, you know he can't guard you. Yeah, like, but. Like, you've given him fifth but he's a multiple times. He's, that's why I say he's facilitator first, too, though. So, like. I think, yeah, I think he. About, I think I think he goes 1-1 one, one tonight. Well, let's play tonight. Knicks. The Knicks, I'm not going to lie. Hey, Knicks, I'm going to show love to New York, y'all. I'm going to show love to New York because I want, I want y'all to win. I want y'all to win. I think the Knicks. Um, I think the Knicks four two it. I think four two. I two. think game six. I think six games. I think that I think the Knicks guy has a, unhealthy. has a team with depth that really can match up against any Eastern uh, team right now. If they beat if they beat the Pacers, y'all are in trouble. 
Let me tell you that right now. Yeah. They beat the Pacers. They have. They're the only team that I feel like I will really they, that, match up there's with that. And I will say we're more in trouble because we don't have Porzingis. But we've actually won more games without Porzingis, so I'll say that. Yeah, I'm not saying they beat y'all, yeah. but they give y'all trouble. Oh yeah, for the sure. Knicks, for Knicks, sure, it's calm. The Knicks sure. give like they're, they they're, hard, and Jalen Brunson gritty, is, gritty is, is is playing out of his mind. Yeah, yeah, for sure. They're a gritty team. Um, um, which, somebody got mad at me because it's like, man, y'all gotta play the, the Kevin. I'm like, we don't make the seating like. It's not our fault when we got to play. Like, That's true too. I, I you know, yeah, I, I, I got upset. I got upset at it too. But you really can't. You yeah, can't. like gonna do the team us. you get is the team you team get. you get. Your team you get. Um, but that was a that was such a boring series. Four two for y'all. Four two. I, I think they give y'all a, a Cavs some good games. I think they give y'all some good games. Four two. I think it goes. I'm hope. I think it goes five. I wanted to go five because KP the only rest he can get. I think. I think. Can we go? We go. I think we can win the East without him. We can't win the finals without him. Yeah, yeah, yeah. That's that's a good, that's sure. a good, yeah. That's a good, that's a for good overview. Sure and then I feel like um, the Mavs and OKC. I feel like that's another series they can go seven. But, so. but OKC, I think OKC wins because they have more depth, bro. Like they and they're just playing team ball, bro. Yeah. With the Mavs, they gotta rely on, they gotta rely on Luke and, and Kyrie doing this every single night. And then you got you you have to get some help from um. Guilford, you got to get help from PJ Washington. You got to get help from those other play, role players. Yeah. And they really, they, they've been all right. And Lively actually been showing up too for the Mavericks. Josh but Gilles, he's doing this thing. You got to, I'm not going to lie. Y'all got to get points. Kyrie been hooping. They've been hooping. But you can't rely on that every single game nah. for them to do that. You got to play the hey, team. Hey, man, I can't defend Kawhi anymore. He better not play USA ball this year. He better not set a foot on the, on the court. Oh, yeah, because all this is going on. We forgot to talk about the Clippers. Y'all yeah. fumbled. Kawhi, Kawhi, I can't get to fan Kawhi anymore. He's one of my favorite two way guys in the league. He's just never around when you need him. Yeah, he's just never. around. And it's like he can't him. control that, but it's still, it's still, yeah, yeah. Come on now, it's yeah. been, it's been. And, and quiet as it was kept, James Harden was cooking that whole series. He was, and nobody was gotta, talking about gotta it. Gotta give him this credit. You gotta him. give him this credit. James Harden was, I think he was averaging like thirty three or something like that. He, was, he was cooking that series, man, and nobody was talking about it. You know, so I don't know. The Clippers, um, they might blow. Well, they might they might blow that whole thing up. I ain't yeah. gonna lie. Yeah, it's time to. Because you can't you can't keep paying. It's Kawhi. time to. You can't. It's time to. He's just not there when you need him. And if he plays USA basketball this year, it's gonna look so funny. It's gonna look so crazy. It's like, come on, dog. You wasn't there for your team oh, yeah. in, 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 I mean, the, but in the playoffs, he, but I don't think that a knee that knee injury, bro. Like yeah. I'm not gonna lie, I can't. Man, that knee injury, it, yeah, it's tough. It's tough to bounce. So now we gotta replace two guys in Team USA. We, we, we gonna be good. We I, I, but still, not, we gonna be good. We still. Uh, but I'm still. I want to go over there with the Monstar Squad and destroy Tyler. them. We got we got too much talent on the US. Now Kyrie team. can play. Yeah, y'all got. It's no way. It's no way y'all add him to the team. Yeah, now Kyrie can play. Because I'm He's telling you, one more bid. These foreign NBA players are out of this world now. Like they they on some other type of time, so you got you got to yeah you got to come to play. Even though he's technically from Australia, yeah. But also, I'm just saying that you got those you got other teams in the uh, you got other teams in the Olympics that uh, have been playing with each other for years. Yeah. So they have more chemistry. Don't 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 play. That's, Listen, we coming over here to, 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 to destroy come on now to destroy them. Ant Man, Tatum, Bron, Bron Kyrie. I mean Bron, Steph, and KD. We not playing. All right, bros. A friend loans you, all right, let's just hypothetically speaking, friend loans you, let's say $50 for a lottery ticket, all right? This, this is like the Powerball. This is one of them ones, all right? all right? But your friend loans you $50 for a lottery ticket, and you win 100 k How much do you give the friend? Was the lottery ticket $50? It's $50, you win 100 k I, I got thrown half. You got, you got to, you got to, you I got, got to. I got thrown half. If they gave you the money to pay to pay for it, you got, you got to go half. Yeah. You got, you got. Even though after taxes, you won't have a hundred k. You still got to go half. But you still got to go half. Right is right, man. You got, you got. You go got half. a lot of people that just greedy, man. It's, it's greedy. I just seen, I seen on TikTok, bro. It was a um, a, a mother and I. Th- uh, it was like a, a a mother and I think the nephew. They had won some money. Like she, she had sent them to go, to go, you know, to go play. Then they, she had won a big amount of money, and then like they had split the money, and she was going off. She was going off. She was like, nah. money? yeah, she was going off about splitting the money with him. But I'm just like, I mean, 
Listen, you, you know what I'm saying? That, you you some, yeah, you you sent me to do an action. You, your money paid for it. I understand that. But you you don't get one without the other. It's the yin and yang. Like how old was nephew? Huh? How old was nephew? He was young. Like he wasn't that young, but he was like you know he had to be like I think like 15, 16. He was he was a little he was a little of age. You could throw you could do him some bread. Come on now. Come you could do him some bread. Come on I mean, now. Got, but get mad at half like ultimately. You and, and and we don't know, you know, any any given day anything can happen. But you try, he's going. You you want him to see and 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 be prosperous in life. You know what I'm saying? Like you already lived your most of your life. Don't do that, to young man. Yeah, don't young do that. boy. Yeah, I I think you got. I think in this situation, you give you give half. Or give him give him give him give him some brave for him to enjoy himself and put the rest like uh, save, save somewhere. Him for something. Like for sure. you be the adult in the matter, but don't like don't jank him. Yeah, yeah. No. I don't Jacob give him nothing. That's people, crazy. People but no, nah, man, really but I ain't gonna lie. Money, I mean, money changes. Money changes, changes people. people, man. Changes people. Yeah, I want, I want, I want, I want to know what y'all think out there because I don't think it's everybody that's gonna say half. Because you, like, you'll be surprised. You like say half, and then you get that hundred k. You like. But I, I think, I think, I, I think Christ wouldn't even let me, wouldn't even allow me to do that. I think Jesus yeah, me would pull me like this, like, hey, yeah, yeah, come on yeah. now. I don't, yeah, I, I went, that was, like, stuff, stuff like, like that don't sit right with me. Because God, because God will reward you in the end for doing that. Mm -hmm. You know, mm -hmm. Bible says God loves a cheerful giver. He would have rewarded me in the end for that. But yeah, I would, I, I would give him half. Because like, you can't, I can't, how can I win if I don't pay for this? Mm -hmm. And he gave me the money. I didn't have it. You know what I'm saying? And, and then on, uh, about the money uh, topic, um, Famous, uh, famous actor. I, f I forget his name, but famous actor. He just recently came out. He's a multimillionaire, but he was basically saying like, um, when I go, I'm not leaving no inheritance uh, to my to my uh, to my children. Or basically, I'm not giving them uh, money. You know what I'm saying? Or like, not not giving them money. Basically, like, and technically they gotta work for it, but he's basically like, in a sense, like they gotta get it on their own. Come on, now. like. What is it with what yeah, is it with it's, people it's crazy. wanting it's why, crazy. you don't like it's, it's crazy. crazy. You you live why do you want people you live to you live to make you live to make your your if when you if you have children their the lives people, the people before you struggle so that you the people after they don't have, have to. to. That's nice. how it works in anything in life. Like the civil rights movement was like that. Like those black folks struggled so that we wouldn't have to struggle. Mm -hmm. See what I'm saying? And it's the same thing here. It's like they're gonna have to grind regardless. It's one thing to have money, it's nothing to know what to do with it and to make more and to sustain it mm -hmm. and stuff like that. Mm -hmm. So yeah, but like you don't like that's the whole point is to leave. The Bible talks about that. The Bible yes, talks about leaving an inheritance and, behind. And you don't have do to do that. And my thing is you don't have to give a handout. You don't have to, to give a to handout, the child, but also you don't have to keep the money as well. There's other ways about going about it. Yes, they can work hard for something, but let it be a, uh, to a, a goal they can obtain. Yeah, like, hey, you you know got, if you complete a four-year degree at a university or college, then you get this money. Right, right. you know, like, the things, that, things of that nature. If you're, especially if you're a multimillionaire, like, that, that's the whole point of, of, like, you having children is to pass things down, is to, uh, you know... Make sure that they have a better life than, than what you had. I think all that right. should be yeah. always the ultimate goal as far as uh, parenting. All right, before we get out of here, is the season finale of BMF this Friday? Look here, I don't How know. do we feel about BMF? Uh, BMF, they, they, I, think, <laughs> I, think, I, think, I, think, I think they dropped the ball, bro. Oh, my I, I gosh. They should have put that on Tubi this yeah, year. I'm this, sorry. This 50. season has hey, been... Hey, 50, I love you, bro. Oh, yeah, man. I, this, this Bring season, on Tariq. It's been, it's, been, it's been a lot of fictional things in this season. Bring on Tariq. It just wasn't good, man. The acting was... He had too many people that can't act too chain. Little baby. Sweetie. Just, I, don't like, I don't like, like Shorty who's playing Henry. I don't like Henry's character. It's like I'm respect like, oh, to... I, and I like I like that he tried to implement him yeah. in there. Shout out to him having his own studio now, too. As far as the like the show... Yeah. It's like, ah, bro, I don't know, bro. Yeah, shout out to him having G.U. in the studio. Hey, I ain't going to hold but you. But like, yeah, I'm, I'm sorry. I'm waiting for that Godfather Harlem. That, oh, yeah. They renew this season, Godfather yeah. Harlem. Yeah, I'm also waiting on The Shy about to be back. I don't know if you watched The Shy, but yeah, The Shy huh? about to be back. There's some good shows coming up. Freaking, um... Oh, oh the, the Mayor of Kingstown. Oh, I love the I love the American yeah. stuff. That's coming back. Oh, I'm so excited. I've heard I've heard about that, and I've actually caught up a little bit on it. It's actually it's a good lit. watch. American Town is fire. Good watch, man. Yeah. And House of Dragon. We gotta have like a Game of Thrones episode. I don't know if you've seen the whole thing. Yeah, and we we got a whole we have a whole episode just about TV shows because there's a lot of good TV shows out there. A lot of good TV shows. 
Um, no, also, real quick, before we go, um, I don't know if you've seen it, Cat Williams' comedy stand-up was actually, uh, like, it was, I really enjoyed it. I always enjoyed Cat Williams' stand-up. I haven't seen that yet. Called Woke I haven't Woke. seen The Roast yet, either. I gotta watch that when I go home. Oh, I'm the glad Tom you brought Brady that. Roast. The Tom Brady Roast. I, I've seen a lot of clips about the Tom Brady Roast. Um, it was hilarious. I, I seen one where Tom Brady got really mad about a, a Robert Kraft uh, comment that was made about, uh, from one of the comedians. And he ain't like he was like I don't, don't say hey look here don't say that again like he I, honestly man I can't do no roast like I can't I like I can join with you but I couldn't just do a roast because they took it too far Kevin Hart went to the Giselle I you know he hurt about that one like he went to the Giselle comment he said uh, Antonio Brown plus one is Giselle I said oh oh nah oh my God I couldn't I couldn't I, I actually seen the clips of it they said it was funny but yeah, I seen do you do you think you have uh, tough enough skin to Pause to go through as far as like a roast. Uh, nah, I don't think I. Not the way, not the way people be firing off like that. Nah, the last roast I've seen was um Justin Bieber's roast. I seen that, and one. even then I remember, and they cut it out. They cut it out of the show. Pete Davidson made a Paul Walker joke to Ludacris, and Ludacris was not happy. Oh my! And God. they had to come apologize to Ludacris during the show, and they cut it out. Yeah, so. Yeah, and then it was another comedian that said something about Kim Kardashian. Oh, that jump! No, what he said to her. Don't tell I, me. Don't tell me. She's no, there. Was wow. She was there. Yes. Okay. No, no I, when I, he I, said no, I'm talking about what he said to her. I don't tell it. I gotta go. Wow. I'm no, but I can home. tell you the Tom Brady one. Tom Brady was just like uh, Kim. Kim. Uh, Kim was late. It was uh, something on the lines. I may not be paraphrasing right, but it was something on the lines like Kim. Kim was late because she was scared to keep Kanye with the children. Like something up those lines, bro. I'm like, yeah. So it was like, but the comedian, they be going there. He went crazy on Kim K. So I'm you know, like, uh, I'm, I'm gonna go home. And yeah, tell yeah, yeah, yeah. I, I don't, I don't have. Matter of fact, I think Kevin, Kevin Hart was at the um that roast. I at couldn't. Just one too. Yeah. Mm-hmm. Mm-hmm. Yeah. I'm, I'm gonna go tap in. Nah, cause I'm. Cause you know why I did one last like we, cause the heart part six yeah, dropped, and I was, I just. Man. And then I was watching, oh, I forgot what I was watching after that. But it was like, yeah, I was watching One Piece. So I'm going to do what yeah, I got. Yeah, this has this been consistent. This has been consistent freaking rap beef. Like, I, hey, it's, it's, cool, it's cool. Competitive, but goodness man. Goodness gracious. Yeah. Yeah, I, I can't wait until this ends so we, we, so now, we can thanks, continue. Now, prayerfully, this will, this will not turn into a shootout or anything like that. But... This yeah, yeah, let's keep, let's keep it peaceful. Let's keep it peaceful because, I mean, these allegations... I need my life back, man. Yeah. I'm sorry. Yeah, because it will consume my life. I will continue to listen. By next pod, it will be uh, probably two more diss tracks out. I'm calling it again. I think. Well, he by, was right last time. I think so by the next who, podcast, who might have telling him he's wrong? He was right the last. I was completely wrong last yeah, time. I, he look, was right. Yeah, I've been drawing it. I've been. Hey, look, I've been dissecting this whole the whole uh, Drake versus Kendrick. All right. I'm looking forward to the Joe Budden pod because they got they everything. Yeah, happened everything has happened. Yeah, so they got to go through the whole Friday. thing. And you know what? Wait Kendrick, for Wednesday too. Yeah, Kendrick yeah. might drop tomorrow again. Right. For that. I don't know. We'll see. We, we got to get out of here, man. All right. Much love, y'all.